Hello, I am Dr. Hanume Gowda, a consultant orthopedic surgeon practicing at AHA Orthocare, Nagarbavi, Bangalore. Lumbosacral region is part of the spine, which is your lower back, where crucially there are six joints called the lumbosacral joint. Five in the lumbar region and one in the, the junction of lumbar and the sacral region. So between each joint, actually when we take up, when we look into it anatomically, there are three, di three different joints in the each joint area, that is in each segment area. So this is one of them, one of the segments which I am trying to show you. There are two bones and there is a joint here. So this joint is called the disc space area. So when we go, this is from the front, when we go to the back side, there is again two more joints here, one joint here and one joint here. So this allows for the small little movement that can happen and as a whole spine has got around 29 motion segments so that leads to a complete bending straightening and also rotation of your body so what happens in past defect is there is this articular area that is a joint forming part of the bone is called the articular area this articular area of the lower bone and this articular area of the upper bone meet to form a joint that's on the posterior side similarly that same upper part continues to form one more articular area for the upper bone. So that junction of the two articular surfaces in a single bone, that junction of two joint forming parts of the same bone is called a pars and this is restricted, this particular term pars is restricted only for the spine, it is not for the other bones of the body. So this is called pars. So this gives the stability so that the bones should not move forwards and backwards. So that is called the pars. Whenever there is a break in the bone in that area, we call it as defect in the pars or in a technical term, we call it as spondylolysis. So this is the spondyle, that is the bone. Spondyle is a spine and lysis is something which is broken or something which is eroded. So it's called lysis. So it's called spondylolysis. When there is such a defect, what happens? The patient experiences a sort of backache which is very very limited to a small area of the back and it is excruciating more so when they extend the back that is when they bend backwards not forwards. When they bend backwards they do tend to get more pain. They may have pain bending forwards as well but by and large when they bend backwards that is extension of the back they get more such pains. And the second thing is the spine becomes unstable. This pain is because of instability. What is this instability? These two bones have to oppose on each other, forming a joint and stay there. Okay, when one of the bones starts moving forwards or backwards, it's called listhesis or slipping. Listhesis means slipping. Then the bone starts slipping. So that is when there's a defect in this pars area, when the defect is on both the sides. As I said, there's one to the left side and one to the right side. So if both the pars are broken, then there's a chance that this bone the upper bone will start moving forwards compared to the lower bone. So that is called lysthesis. Then it becomes a bigger mechanical problem. So basically it is not a disease, it is a mechanical problem in the body. So the commonest problem that can occur is the pain. The second thing is what we call stenosis pain. Stenosis pain is a pain which starts in the lower back initially. Then it starts paining in the thigh and also in the leg. More so when they walk for a certain distance. We call, we also call this as neurological claudication. So these are the common complaints. Rarely a patient may develop neurological deficit. What are neurological deficits? Neurological deficits are weakness in the limbs, that is lower limbs, or loss of sensation in the lower limbs, or some sort of disturbance in passing urine or stools. So these are the things that can develop, but a little bit rare most of the times patients have excruciating pain when they do movements.